everyone, I'm Robert Yurimihio and welcome back to my channel. We are still in our discussion regarding the sociological perspective of understanding the self. For the postmodern view of the self, one's self already possesses a virtual version where one can already see his or herself in the web or social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and many other else. While we may define the self in many ways, in the postmodern view, the self is already digitalized and this is actually one of the manifestations of a postmodern self. And we will be discussing this separately when we reach the digital self. Well, part of the manifestation of a postmodern self is that some persons tend to develop a multicultural identities due to global migration. Like a child whose father, for example, is an American and whose mother is a Filipina. The child may then adopt the culture of both his or her parents where the child may have the ability to speak both English and Filipino language. The developed multicultural identities and or the existence of the cyberspace makes the postmodern self to be pluralized, where one, for example, may have a Facebook account with multiple identity, like having your real account which is a different presentation of yourself as compared to your dummy or poster account and to the account that you are using for your online business. You may project an outgoing self in your TikTok account as manifested in the way you dance, while on the other hand, be sentimental in your caption in your Facebook account. On the other hand, Social construction of the self states that the self is not discovered. It is made through socialization process where we construct ourselves based on our social role. In our family, school, community, and etc. Well, this made me recall the poem of Shakespeare, All the World's a Stage. And we are merely players to what the society, which is our director, wants us to play. While you are a leader of your organization or a boss of a company, there will be a different role you will be playing once you got home. You become then a loving son or a loving daughter, a caring brother or a sister to your siblings, a supportive husband or wife, but of course, we still have the choice on how we define ourselves, not just being a passive takers of the dictates of the society. In Nishi's stand, the unity of the self is not pre-given. Rather, it is accomplished through conscious effort. Well, this is evident to those who encountered, for example, a negative feedback about them like being fat or dark or skinny. So what they do is they recreate themselves to become a better version of who they are and this just helps them to reinterpret and redescribe their past. Well, as Nishi stated, we can recreate ourselves to get hold of the present, forgive the past, and plan for the future. More will be discussed regarding the sociological perspective of understanding the self in our next video lecture. So I hope you have learned something from this video lecture. Now, if you learned something from our lecture, you can send your comments and share this video to the rest of your friends. And if you wanted to get notified for our succeeding topics, please do not hesitate to click on the like and bell notification button and hit subscribe. See you in our next video lecture.